Hey, before we jump into the video, I wanted to quickly shout out this week's sponsor, which is WP Scan. They are a WordPress security plugin that lets you get a hacker's eye view of your WordPress site. So if you have some vulnerabilities on your WordPress installation, in your theme, in your plugins, all that kind of stuff, they're going to be able to scan your site and give you some recommended ways to fix it. So if your theme needs to be updated, if your plugins have vulnerabilities, it'll recommend what version number to jump to and all that kind of good stuff. If you're interested in more in learning about WP Scan, there is a link in the description. All right, let's jump into the video. What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna kinda of do like a stream of consciousness type of video, just where I'm gonna rant at the camera for a minute because I got a comment on my YouTube channel and it made me think and I wanted to uh, explore what, this, uh, what the answer to this question might be. But the gist of the question was, hey, I'm learning uh, web development. I hear WordPress is popular should I spend time learning about WordPress in the coming years? Is it gonna be relevant? Can I make a kind of a career out of this? And you know, is the juice worth the squeeze? And so I'm gonna kind of answer this in kind of two parts. The number one is, um, should I even spend time going after it, you know, getting into, into web development? And then I'll talk about if, you know, you can kind of make a career out of it. So my answer actually might surprise some of you. Um, I run a, uh, a YouTube channel that's entirely centralized about WordPress and kind of the surrounding web development pieces of it. But I would say if you're just getting into, word, or into web development, spending time going after WordPress knowledge is not going to be as beneficial as spending that same amount of time into other facets of web development. So what I mean by that is focus on the fundamentals that you're going to encounter in, in, in the workplace most of the time. So, I mean, web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then you can kind of insert like, you know, like uh, PHP in there and stuff like that, because you're going to see that a lot as well, I'm sure. Um, but to kind of stack WordPress on top of that as like a core skill that you're developing when you're just getting into it, I feel like might be kind of a step in the wrong direction. Now for me, when I first started in web development, I did HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then my second job that I got was very focused on WordPress. And then I took that experience and somebody came and said, hey, we'll, we'll uh, pay you more money if you do it at our job. And and because we work with WordPress a lot and that was an agency and now at my current job, it's even more, but it kind of more on a, like an enterprise level. And so like it kind of that, that initial WordPress experience that I had from my second job kind of translated into, into more and more. And that's the kind of the, the advice that I would give developers who are just starting out is don't focus on a framework or a CMS or anything like that prematurely focus on the fundamentals and then kind of see where your experience leads to. Now that doesn't mean to say like, oh, I really love WordPress. I'd like to do more in that. Now that completely changes everything. But this kind of question was more about like, hey, I'm learning web development. Should I focus on WordPress at all? So short answer, no, don't focus on WordPress until it makes sense to. And just to reiterate the instances where it makes sense to is if you are, um, in a job where that is a facet of your responsibility and learn and, and you'll need to have uh, a hand in WordPress development, then yeah, dive into it because now that's part of your job. Another one would be you want to get into freelancing and that one, you could go a lot of different directions with that, but WordPress has a lot of say in the freelancing community. Um, lots of people who I, at least in my personal experience, who have wanted freelance job, a uh, freelance projects done um, have almost always been in some sort of uh, WordPress kind of atmosphere. Like they've always been related to WordPress in some extent. Maybe that's just lucky, but like I have not advertised myself as a specifically a WordPress freelancer at all, but people tend to want to do that. And I think that's just because it's such like a popular CMS. 
you go into any sort of hosting company and they're like, oh, install WordPress and yada, yada, yada. And so they start doing research on WordPress. They eventually learn that they want to use WordPress. They find some freelancers and then say like, hey, I want to do it on, on WordPress. So that's just been my experience. So if you are getting into freelancing, yeah, you probably are going to want to know about it at least a little bit. And then I would say, yeah, spend some time doing it. But I would say like those are the two main places where before you should actually start sinking your teeth into it um, on a on a deeper level. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, just learning the fundamentals and then kind of adding frameworks on top of it. I would say the same thing about React. Don't learn about React until you have kind of a reason to learn React. I would focus your your um, your efforts when you're first starting out on JavaScript, and then if you start to you know you get hired as a, on a job and you need to learn uh, Vue or 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 React or any other sort of language on top of it, that's what's going to be helpful. I have had less experience as um, somebody that's in interviews forcing people to know the framework that I, that that we are going to be using. Usually it's more we need to know what your base fundamental skills are. And oh, by the way, we also use some we also use React or we also use WordPress. What's your experience in that? If it's not much and you're a passionate person about it and you're willing to learn nine times out of 10, that's a positive for you. And it's going to be less and less about how many years of specifically React experience or WordPress experience do you have. Now, that's not to say once you're in like, you know, mid senior and lead developer positions, yeah, that's going to matter more how your how your um, in-depth experience with a framework is, but not when you're just starting out. Then second, the more the other question was about having a uh, um, a livelihood coming from your WordPress knowledge. And I would say, yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely make a career um, knowing WordPress. Um, and that, again, comes from a place where you're kind of graduated into, you know, mid senior lead levels, uh, lead level positions. Having a skill set that's specific to a framework can be helpful in a company that's very much uses that. Um, and I mean, that's been my personal experience. Like I said, my second, third and fourth job have all been centered around WordPress. And each time that I've changed jobs or anything like that, I've, um, you know, my livelihood has gotten better and then my experience has gotten more in depth. And then that's opened up more opportunities for other companies that also need WordPress developer experience. So yeah, I would say, but I would say that about just about any sort of uh, framework or CMS or anything like that. I would argue that you could find a livelihood in just about any of those. Um, WordPress is a little bit more common because lots of companies that have marketing teams definitely love having WordPress as part of their infrastructure and all that. So I would highly recommend that, you know, you have decided and you have some experience in WordPress that that's something that you want to continue in there's going to be jobs out there for you. I mean, the, the, uh, sheer amount of times, you know, people hit me up on LinkedIn, like I, people at Facebook, they have a whole team that's doing that. Now Google's has teams, on, um, that also works with WordPress. Bluehost has a team that uh, obviously Bluehost has a team that has, that has uh, specifically WordPress people in it. Like the internet is kind of like kind of gathering around WordPress in a really kind of positive way. Now, talk to individual developers and they'll have their beefs with WordPress for sure. But like the, the fact of how big and popular it is, is undeniable. And so getting in on that and making money off of it to the point where you can feed your family, make a car payment, pay your rent, all that kind of stuff, I think is extremely viable. But let's bring it back. All of this was kind of in the context of being a new developer and should you learn it in 2021? Um, I think that there's times, there's scenarios where that's a resounding yes, and there's scenarios where that's a resounding no. But at the very beginning of everything, focus your efforts on other things. Let WordPress kind of happen. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. But as the final caveat, if you love WordPress and you know you love it, and this is what makes you happy, then yes, go for it. And you will absolutely find a job and you'll absolutely be able to make a living off of it. So. Hopefully this video wasn't too kind of like, you know, rambly. I mean, I just, like I said, this is just kind of my stream of consciousness. If you don't want me to talk about this kind of stuff and you just be like, shut up and teach me about uh, update post meta or something like that, or teach me more about the loop, 
fine. Uh, just leave a comment and I will get back to more of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm also kind of curious what I'm going to do with this green screen. I, I, I set the green screen up, and, but I'm not really recording my screen. I might put up like a funny cat video or something back there. Isn't that wacky? Look at what's going on back there. Uh, but anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I want to thank my patrons for supporting through me, uh, supporting me on all this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, I take, you know, message me on Twitter. If you have like a very specific question, people message me on Patreon and people leave comments and it, sometimes it gets kind of lost in the fray. But if you message me on Twitter, I will a hundred percent see it. So, um, I appreciate all of my patrons, all of you watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys. Happy holidays. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one.